Hi, David Smith here with David Smith Radon. Uh, for you that don't know, we're a radon distribution company as well as a mitigation company in Illinois. Uh, we hold Illinois' second oldest license, been doing radon mitigation in Illinois for around 21 years. And, uh, and, and my company still does each and every day. But we also are a supplier of uh, any radon product for a mitigator uh, throughout the United States. We're exclusively AMG Festa fans, as you can see behind me. And uh, w we're proud of that fact. We're proud that we only distribute AMG Festa fans. But I'm here today to talk about new construction. And I know that uh, a lot of states are considering a new construction law. Uh, I know uh, Illinois has had it since 2014. I know there's another state that's just adopted it. And I know two more states that are uh, considering adopting it. So I thought I'd better get something out there about that because um, we've been doing new construction passive systems since 1998. And we've been doing a lot of them since 1998. And I know that's a little bit unheard of, but we even did a study of 105 uh, new constructions that did get turned into a presentation uh, at a national convention. But what I found out about new construction right from the beginning is uh, a T is the wrong idea. And putting a T in the floor is, is, uh, is not near as effective as core drilling. And so when Illinois decided to write this law, we had already had so much experience with it and we core drilled them all. But we'd already had so much experience with it that uh, they were gracious enough to work with us uh, and uh, uh, we asked them to consult with us on, on that law and, uh, and talk them into uh, amending the law so that a T was, uh, was the preferred method, core drilling was an option that was certainly acceptable. That's good enough for us because putting a T in, uh, I will prove to you that putting a T in the floor is a lot less effective and from a radon mitigator standpoint a lot more work. Uh, the worst thing you want to do with, uh, with a house is go there with a couple tape measures, uh, uh, a carpenter foreman, and a blueprint and get down in a mud hole and try to figure out where to put this T, number one. And number two, it, it eats up a lot of time, which is money. And so, and so we learned right away that first place you can do all the measuring you want, but that T is going to be in the wrong place because one of the consumers that's buying the home is going to want it moved for a doorway or something. So uh, we've, uh, we, we learned right away. Uh, I think we did about two T's and we've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of, of core drilling on these things. So I want to do a little proving and the main reason I'm standing here is for you folks that have states that are considering uh, a new construction uh, passive code. Uh, we used to call it uh, we used to call it passive, but it's radon resistant new construction. For you folks that have states that are considering it, be sure and talk to them and ask them if they would do what Illinois did for us. Uh, Illinois was gracious. Illinois is in the forefront, as a lot of you know, but Illinois was gracious enough to listen to us and, and also add core drilling as a, as a secondary option. We're eternally grateful to Illinois for that. But we need to encourage you to do that with your own people. Uh, if, if your state is considering. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate what happens over the years. Uh, what we know about uh, passive or radon res resistant new construction is it dis does deteriorate with time. And the reason it deteriorates is just the atmosphere itself. We know there's leaves blowing in it all the time. We know there's dirt blowing in it all the time. Uh, we know there's rain that comes afterwards that turns it into mud. And we know that there's no positive force pulling it out. And so we know that a radon resistant new construction can be highly effective. We've proven that in our studies. We studied 105 homes that we did. And, uh, and I can show you that study. But we also know that especially with the T method, it deteriorates very quickly because of the um, debris uh, that from the atmosphere that gets in the pipe. So we're going to just kind of demonstrate that a little bit. This is a T. This is a T in the gravel, just exactly as the uh, radon resistant codes require. Most of them, at least Illinois, requires uh, 10 feet of perforated tile into that T. They'd like to have it buried so that the uh, gravel uh, is at the top of the T, so that it's, uh, it's well buried in the gravel. So let's just say uh, uh, in, within a few years time uh, there's going to be dirt blow in it. Dirt leaves, stuff like that. We all know that's going to happen. So let's just add some dirt and some leaves uh, from the mulch in the front of my house. And let's do that to the same thing here with the, uh, that's actually even a bigger bundle than I'm putting in here. We also know, if we've done radon long enough, we also know that uh, a lot of other things 
when we pull out a fan to replace it, we see a lot of other things. And we're going to use these sort of foam and cotton balls or whatever just, 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 as, uh, just to indicate there's other things that can blow in. Uh, I'll even double it. Other things that can blow into a, uh, to a, a passive radon stack. Uh, and so, uh, for instance, we, uh, we replaced a fan one time that had uh, nuts in it. And I bet all of you had. So, uh, so let's add a few nuts. Let's put a few more in here. Let's, uh, uh, another thing we've seen in, uh, in uh, radon pipes when we take a fan out to replace it, dead squirrels, love that, but birds. So let's add a bird. I only got one bird, so let's add a bird. And so each year, each year this kind of stuff happens to a passive radon pipe. And so let's say you're in year four and you, and you got a bunch of dirt and leaves blowing around again. Okay, here's year four. Dirt and leaves blowing all over the place, filling up your passive radon stack. Take a look, folks. It's not rocket science. That pipe is plugged up. You add a little bit of rain to this mix, and now you got a muddy slurry that has totally plugged up the ability for this passive stack to work. So what's going to happen when you activate it? Poor results. Take a look at the core drill. All we do is remove a half a bucket of the gravel. That's a half a bucket of gravel. Look at the flow you still have with, actually I added more to this one than I did this one, uh, just to overemphasize. But for anybody that tells me a T is the proper way to do a radon resistant new construction, I would argue that. There is no way. We have a lot of experience doing radon resistant new construction. As I said before, we've done them for 21 years. Uh, we started in 1998, I guess that's 20, but we started in 1998. Uh, we've done studies on them, we've written papers on them, we've had grants giving on, uh, given on the studies we've done on new construction. You can make money core drilling one, you can't make money making the extra trips it takes to do a T and you can get a better product. Now, we do a lot of uh, radon resistant new construction and we consider it a great uh, addition to our radon mitigation business and as an individual person call me I'll walk you through how we do it I'll walk you through how we talk the builders into it I'll walk you through everything about it but it includes core drilling and you must talk your state into allowing this as an option uh, I, I believe the state of Illinois uh, I don't want to speak for them but I believe the state of Illinois officials would uh, would also uh, uh, verify what I'm saying. It's been a great method. They, they know how many we do. They keep a great set of records and uh, they know that I've been extremely successful uh, by core drilling. I can tell you all about timing. I can tell you about working with the other contractors to do this core drilling and I can tell you from years of experience that this is, this is horrible uh, in performance compared to this. So I hope that these states that are considering radon resistant new construction, I think it's a great idea, but I hope they consider allowing this. Thank you.